Hey there, welcome to the channel. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how you can turn simple grayscale images into KDP coloring pages in less than five minutes. And hopefully this will help you with or get started in your low and medium content Amazon KDP business. So basically I'm gonna help you turn this into this. But before that, hey guys, my name is Jeff and this channel is all about becoming self-sufficient when it comes to making money online and right now we're talking about low and medium content publishing on amazon kdp so if this sounds interesting to you feel free to hit that subscribe button so that you can be notified whenever i release a new video with that being said let me show you how it's done okay guys so i've chosen four images to show you how to remove the grayscaling on and i'm actually going to show you two methods that are completely free that you can use to remove the grayscaling so one is going to be a little bit more simple, a little bit more black and white. And the other one is a little bit more for detailed photos that you can't use the first method. So you're going to have to use the second one. So basically to go through the pictures, as you can see, the first one is a pretty simple black and white coloring image with a little bit of grayscaling. Now, if you wanted to remove this grayscaling, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. The second photo is similar. Uh, it has a little bit of grayscaling, a little bit of variance in the grays, but we can go ahead and get this removed as well using the first method. The next image is pretty similar. So once again, I'm going to show you the method. And then for the last image is actually the second method, which this image is a little bit more detailed. So we're going to have to use a different way to get the grayscaling out. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So let's get started. Now, going back to the first image right here, we're actually going to use a website called pixlr.com. And I'll put the link down in the description below if you just want to click that and make it easier. But basically, it's an online photo editor that you can use right now for free. And the one that we're going to use is this Pixlr editor, advanced photo editor. It'll open up this interface and then we can easily just drag it into here or click this open image but what we're going to do is we're just going to drag it so if we just drag it over here go ahead and click original and there it is so with this method is we're going to go to the left hand side here and we're going to look for this fill button so go ahead and click this fill button and you want to make sure the top color right here is white if it's not white click on it and then drag this all the way up where you can see the hex is a pound sign and a bunch of f's that'll make sure that's all white click ok and then now all you want to do is just go to the areas that are gray and just click on them and as you can see the fill tool will turn them whatever color you chose and in this case we chose white so as you can see, I'm slowly but surely turning the image into more of a black and white image and removing the grayscale on it. So once you're happy with that, we have to make sure to get this part. You can go ahead and save it by clicking File and Save. Save it as a PNG and then go ahead and save it like that. And there you go with the first one. Now with the second one, we can go ahead and drag it in as well. Same thing, create new, original, apply. And then now make sure the fill is chosen, the white is chosen. And let's just get to work by clicking the spots that we want to turn white. As you can see, there's a little bit more variance in the grays, but it's still doing its job. So we can just keep clicking in the areas that we want to turn white. And as you can see, slowly but surely, it's turning this picture into more of just a black and white image. And we can, you know, do the eyes. And oh, if we made a mistake, we can go back by going to the history bar right here on the right and just going one up. And as you can see, it'll undo the last one that we did. And let's just say we like it like this. Oh, we missed a spot. Now, all we're going to do is same thing. 
save it as a PNG, save, save, and that one's done. Okay, now on to the third image. The third image is this picture of the dog. Let's go ahead and drag it in. Create new, original, apply. And I'm going to show you that with this one, it is a little bit more complicated, but you can still get it done. As you can see, there are areas here where you're going to have to really focus on to get a lot of the grays out. And you certainly can do it with this method, which is what I'm doing right now. I'm showing you right now. And I'm going to show you how to clean up the rest of the, the grays that you're not able to get. So let's say we've gotten everything that we want out, all the grays that we want out. Let's say we've done most of that. Uh, but there's still a little bit of spotting. Really what you're going to have to do now Grab this draw tool right here and you want to make sure that you have the right settings here, 40 pixels, uh, that seems to be okay. Make it white and then you want to zoom in and you just want to color it in. Color it in the spots that you need to clean up here. It might take a few minutes maybe a minute to clean up all of this, but it's honestly not that bad. So as you can see, we took out most of that gray, turn it into more of a black and white image ready to be put in a coloring book. Now, as you can see from the first, the second to the third, it got a little bit more detailed. And now, now we're gonna go to the fourth image, which is gonna be where we can't use this method anymore, and I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about. So if we drag this image of this dog into here, do the exact same thing like we did with the past three, and we do the same thing. We take the fill tool, make sure it's white, and we start coloring it in. You can see that, yes, you can get a few spots, but this is not really what you want. This is gonna take forever to do. Yes, you can do it, but there's gonna be so many spots, especially in these more detailed sections, like the hair, that you won't be able to get your desired result. So what we're gonna do is a little bit of a different method on here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up Canva, and I'm just gonna enlarge this so that you guys can see. And the easiest way that I've found to get rid of this grayscaling is to click on the image, click Edit Photo, and then go here to Adjust. And once you're here, what we're going to do is we're going to play around with these values right here. Brightness, contrast, highlights, shadows, whites, and blacks until we can fine tune this to get the grayscaling out and just leave the white behind. So if we go with brightness, we can see that if we increase it, it turns more white. Now we don't want to increase it too much because we start to lose a little bit of that texture in the hair. So maybe just do a little bit like that. If we play around with the contrast, we can see exactly what it does. So just a tiny bit. The highlights, we're gonna leave a little bit maybe like this. Shadows, doesn't do much. So honestly, doesn't really matter where I put that. And then the whites, you don't wanna do too much because you're gonna take away all that detail with the hair. So just a little bit. And then the blacks, to darken everything. There you go. And you can play around with the sharpness here. Um, and then the clarity. So however you prefer. As you can see, this image is basically black and white. 
we've removed the gray from it and I think it looks pretty good. So basically we went from this picture and turn it into a black and white image ready to be colored. So if I were to just put both images together so we can see the difference, the picture on the right is what we had before, what we started with, and this is what we turn it into. And I think that's a pretty good job. Well, there you have it. That's it for today's video. I hope you found it helpful in your own KDP low and medium content publishing journey. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions or what kind of video you want to see me do next. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.